It's always difficult to try and predict Manchester United's starting eleven, but this game against Crystal Palace has to be the hardest prediction ever because I have absolutely no idea who's going to start for Manchester United. But here is my slightly uneducated guess. In goal, I'm going for Joel Pereira. That's because Jose Mourinho has actually said he's going to start, so I might be cheating on that one. But the Portuguese goalkeeper had a great loan spell, came back to Manchester United, has played well with the under-23s, and has clearly caught the eye of Jose Mourinho and his staff because he has been gushing about him, saying that he could become Portugal's number one goalkeeper. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he plays. He's obviously made his debut early this season. I think he was brought on maybe late against Wigan in the FA Cup. Not sure, but he's played once at Old Trafford before. Interested to see how he does from the start. Now, formation-wise, I've gone for 3-4-3. Three, three. Basically playing five at the back with two overlapping full-backs. Now, that's, I'm going to put Bayer at right back or right wing back. I'm going to go for three in the middle of Twan Zebe, Jones and Smalling. And I'm going for Demetri Mitchell at left back, which is a full debut for him. Eric Bai, will he be fit? We're not sure, but he's in my team. And I'll put Tuan Zabi in the middle because he deserves to play at centre-back. He's played at right-back so far this season and defensive midfield twice. Once man-marking Chris Christian Eriksen, the other in a free-roaming role where he looked very composed. But centre-back is his natural position. I want to see him there. Jones and Smalling, I still think both of them need to get rust off their boots or whatever is needed to try and improve their form. Maybe he's smalling a little bit more than Jones, being a little bit harsh on Jones there. He's actually quite good against Southampton. And I think Jones will start the Europa League final. But Mourinho would definitely want to see a little bit more from both of them against Crystal Palace on Sunday. And I've gone for Mitchell at left wing back. He's been made into a left, a left back by Nicky Butt for the under-23s this year. And he's done very, very well. And this is at a club, Manchester United, we've played. Darmy at left back, Rojo, Young, Blind and Shaw. And we still don't have a secure left back thanks to Shaw's injuries really curtailing his progress. So it's an opportunity for Mitchell to shine and I hope he takes it and I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing him in that starting 11. I've gone for a midfield two of Pogba and Scott McTominay. Now Pogba has missed a couple of games because he was back in France with his family after the passing of his father. And I think he'll start this game. I think he needs just a, maybe he won't play the whole game, maybe take him off after 60 minutes, but Pogba needs a little bit of get back in that match rhythm. And I think this game, I think he'll start. And I hope to see Scott McTominay play alongside him. I think Carrick's a little bit tired. I don't want to play Pogba and Herrera from the start because they're both going to start the Europa League final. So I'm going to go for Scott McTominay in midfield. Six foot four, huge, huge midfielder. Him alongside Pogba, that'll be one massive, massive midfield. And I'll be excited to see him in the team. Now I've gone for Matty Willock in the number 10 role. He's been playing with the under 23s. Mourinho's already name dropped him and I think it will be a good game to get him a run out. Be excited to see how he plays, operates in the central midfield position but he certainly can play further forward into the number 10 role. And I've gone for Lingard and Martial up front, playing alongside each other, a bit like the Chelsea game maybe. I think their pace could cause Crystal Palace no ends of problems, and I think maybe, maybe Wayne Rooney will start in the number 10 role. Maybe I'm completely wrong. But this is my predicted start at 11. What is your predicted start at 11? Leave it in the comments. As I said, one of the hardest ever to predict. If anybody can get 11, fair play to you. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.